Hey guys, old bum here. Um, well, it's Friday afternoon. Made it to Brisbane. Sitting here in the comfort of Casa de Coach. Um, Jeff, Coach Jeff caught me out uh, close to D-Bay to run me into his place where I'm staying the night. Um, yesterday was day four and it was from Barine Point to... Well, I was going to go to Glenview and camp there the night, but um, I ended up going to Karamundi and and soft cocking and cocking it again uh, in a motel um, to Karamundi from Coolum to Karamundi um, the headwind was just savage um, my legs just didn't have I I felt all right just my legs my quads were burning um, and the panniers you know the wind with the front panniers were blowing it back and forth and um, you know but aside that, it was a good day. It was really, really cool. Uh, a couple of little showers didn't worry me too much. Um, traffic was pretty good. Um, had one small occasion with an old guy in Kiwana. Anyway, we, you get that. But um, yeah, no, it was pretty good. And I camped at, the, like I said, the, the motel there at Karamundi and had a nice feed there and a, and a, and a cold, refreshing um, amber sports drink. And then uh, today, Friday, was from Karamundi, Karamundi to um, where I'm staying tonight in the northern suburbs of Brisbane. Um, and so I came down down along, I uh, sort of worked my way around onto Caloundra Road, uh, down past the race course, and then Lansborough Road. Then I followed um, Old Lands Lansborough Road to Biwa, and then cut up onto um, Old Gimpy Road. And it was pretty good. It was um, very little traffic. Um, I had a bikeway basically all the way from um, Lansborough to Biwa. And then um, a lot of the um, beginning of Old Gimpy Road at the uh, Biwa end, it had a, a nice, uh, like a forestry road uh, drive pathway along the side of it so I got a fair way on um, on the bike, bike off the road but even when I was on the road even that was narrow motorists were very friendly um, they were very good and it was very quiet um, coming I've never been down that way before and it was absolutely beautiful and it was just perfect to do it for the first time on the bike it was great um, I turned off and I come across, I didn't go back down into Glasshouse Mountains and come back around. I cut across and continued to follow Old Gimpy Road all the way through and there's a section that's basically forestry. And um, yes, it was uh, rougher than what I had on the Kulul Way <laughs> and Sandia. And uh, I had my first tumble today. <laughs> um, I uh, somersaulted and pirouetted and with a triple pike and, and stuck the landing with all the grace of a gold medal gymnast. It was, um, I would have liked to have been a fly on the wall, it was funny. Anyway, the front wheel hit some soft sand, that through the back wheel another way and with the pennies on and all the way, uh, well, I'm on my side. I wasn't going fast, I got a little scrape on my knee and no damage to the Kona, which is the main thing that we concern ourselves with. Um, other than that, it was good. It was gravel for a little bit more, and then back onto the bitumen. And then I come down through, um, followed that into um, Caboolture, and then I hit more I felt at Caboolture, and the winds, uh, coastal winds, really ripped up again and made it hard going. And I called, uh, caught up with old Jeff, uh, old coach Jeff on, um, on D, uh, Old Bay Row, I think, Old Bay Road, I think it was, and uh, he caught me up there and he led me the way um, to his place, which was good, and it was nice to have a bit of a tailwind for a change, although I think he found a few hills deliberately and took me a few, a few extra ways just to make me suffer a bit, you know, like, do I look like I need coaching? No, no, I've got the body of a goddess and, you know... <laughs> Um, anyway guys, so that's it. I'm hunkered down. I'm going to be heading off to my friend's place in uh, the northern, uh, closer to Brisbane tomorrow. So that's about another 30k ride. I'm going to spend the weekend with them as well. 
So I think the coach and I are going to have a beer now. Uh, and um, I'll catch us later.